Hello friends, uh, welcome to the second uh, part of uh, village level irrigation canal design. In this uh, section, um, I will uh, talk on soil water holding capacity. Generally, soil is a medium which provides support, porosity, nutrients, and oxygen, which is essential for the growth of plants. Soil also stores water and systematically supplies this water to plants to maintain their growth. Excess water, which results in water logging and deficient water, both retard crop growth and reduce the crop yield. In this section, uh, we'll discuss a simple method of determining the water holding capacity of three main types of soil, light, medium, and heavy soil, and their relationship to crop soon. Basics of soil water holding capacity. A characteristic of the soil water holding capacity is excess water above the saturation point which drains away under the influence of gravity. This water that drains away is called gravitational water. The retained soil water divided into two types, capillary and hygroscopic water, which is held within soil pores due to surface tension forces, which is attached to soil particles respectively. This water can be removed by heat only, Plants' roots can use a very small fraction of this soil moisture under drought conditions. Water in excess of maximum capillary and hygroscopic moisture flows down freely as gravitational water. After this, the volume of water remaining in the soil structure is called the field capacity. It is the amount of water held in the soil after the tree drainage and gravity has removed most of the excess water. The concept of field capacity is extremely important. Before using water by plants, most water drains are due to gravitational forces. Therefore, if we know the field capacity, we can increase water use efficiency by not supplying more water than we know the field can hold. Soil and water relationship. Soil holding capacity is determined by soil texture. Soil texture is defined by the soil particle size. Most soil contains a mixture of sand, silt, clay. Sand particle size ranging from 0.05 mm to 1 mm in diameter. If sand dominates the soil, then it's coarse texture. Silt particle size ranging from 0.002 mm to 0.5 mm in diameter. If silt dominates the soil, then it's fine textured. Clay particle size is smaller than 0.002 mm. Loom soil contains equal amount of sand, silt, and clay, and are medium textured soil. The texture determines the quantity of water the soil can store per unit of depth. The holding capacity. Depth of soil is defined as the area for storing efficient amount of irrigation water and providing space for probing roots. Shallow coarse texture soil requires more frequent irrigation. Deep soils do require less frequent irrigation. As a result, the water requirement for a given crop is greater in shallow soils than in deep soils, even though the amount of water absorbed by the crop would be the same for both types of soil. In addition, the plant's root zone determines to what depth the plant will be able to penetrate to access available water. To saturate one meter of light texture soil requires 100 mm of water. Medium texture soil requires 190 mm of water. 
and the heavy textured soil requires 300 mm of water. Water holding capacity of three major soil textures light soil, medium soil, and heavy textured soil for saturating of one meter depth. The minimum amount of water holding capacity in the soil before a plant wilts and eventually dies is permanent wilting point. The difference in the moisture content within the root zone between maximum feed capacity and the permanent wilting point of the soil is termed available moisture. It represents the maximum moisture which is stored in the soil for the plant use. It should be noted that the soil moisture content near the wilting point is not easily extracted by the plants. Hence, the term readily available moisture is used to represent the fraction of available moisture which can be easily extracted by the plants. Readily available moisture is approximately 50% of available moisture for three major classification of soil. While the plant can grow and survive as long as the soil is between permanent wilting point and feed capacity, the optimum level of soil water is much higher than permanent wilting point, but lower than field capacity. As the amount of soil water drops to the permanent wilting point, many crops indicate water stress by temporary wilting. The plant has used up all the readily available moisture, though some of the total available moisture remains. While this does not kill the plant, it may damage or slow its growth, thus reducing yield. Since water usage varies throughout the season from year to year, a strong implication is that proper management of water supply is a major factor in determining yields. To produce the highest yields, soil moisture should be at a level of optimum growth throughout the season. Moisture classification of various soils per meter of root zone depth for different uh, textured soils, light, medium, and heavy textured soils. We have uh, field capacity, as uh, we have already talked about, 100 mm, 190 mm, 300 mm. This is the field capacity, uh, and amount held at permanent wilting point will be uh, 20 mm. Uh, uh, 47 mm and 105 mm. Uh, when we uh, subtract this uh, uh, dip from 100 mm, we uh, get 80 mm that this is available moisture for plant use in light texture soil, for example. And 50% of this 80 mm of, uh, that is available moisture for plant is readily available moisture. Uh, and also 72 mm and 95.5 mm for the medium and uh, heavy textures, so respectively. Soil characteristics would determine the suitability for irrigation can easily be established in the field and are discussed below. Infiltration or intake rate is another important property of soil which affects surface irrigation. It not only controls the amount of water entering the soil, but also the overland flow. Infiltration is a complex process that is not to be covered in detail in this tutorial. Rule of thumb, infiltration rates increase with full coverage and decrease with steeper land slopes and less time. These estimates are to be used if you do not have any other information at hand. Local conditions must govern each individual design. Soil integrate for a light sandy soil is uh, considered as uh, 15 mm per hour for medium texture and heavy texture are 10 and 5 mm per hour respectively.
root depth. There are about as many different measurements for root depths as there are varieties of plants. Some of the common crop measurements are given in the following table. For these crops, for example, alfalfa, corn, cotton, up to onions, we have different feeder root depths. For example, for cotton is uh, 1.25. Soil as a water reservoir. Understanding the role and function of irrigation in agriculture requires knowledge of some basic technical terminology and principles used in engineering. Treating the soil as a reservoir for stored water and developing a water budget showing against and losses may be one method to simplify understanding of water sources. To sum up, in a given area of land, the amount of available water the soil can hold for plant growth is determined primarily by two factors, the texture of soil, the depth and type of rich soil. The texture determines the quantity of water the soil can store per unit of depth and how much of the stored water will be available for the plant. The plant's root zone determines the depth and amount of water that may be extracted. The soil itself, when completely saturated, is at field capacity. The soil reaches field capacity one to four days after irrigation, depending on its type, and it will hold this amount of water if drainage is unrestricted. The plant's roots can absorb this water until the soil moisture and the root zone reaches the permanent wilting point. Beyond this point, the plant wilts completely and dies because the force holding the water to the soil is stronger than the plant's ability to absorb water. The difference between field capacity and permanent wilting point is the available moisture for the plant's use. For example, to determine the total available water in the root zone of a crop in a proposed scheme area, the soil in the project scheme has heavy texture and cotton is a crop growth. From table 2-2, the root depth is 1.25 meters. From table 2-1, the water holding capacity is 200 mm per meter of soil depth. To calculate the total available water that could be stored in the root zone, we multiply 1.25 to 200 mm. We get 250 mm, the available water depth that could be stored in the roots. In this section, we discovered the soil water relationship and soil depth characteristics to determine soil water holding capacity per meter depth of soil. With this information and the predetermined crop root depths, we can now find the total water required for various crops. Thank you.